When you download photos and documents from the internet, do you know where they're saving? Do you get frustrated with having to move files from the downloads folder into another folder on your computer every time you save something? Most people don't know there's a way to fix that. I'll show you how to change your download settings in Google Chrome today on Tuesday Tech Training. Hi, and welcome to today's Tuesday Tech Training. My name is Jennifer Stewart. I'm the owner of Gateway Productivity, and I'm a tech and productivity trainer. Today, I'll show you how to change your download settings in Google Chrome. The reason you would want to do this is because it is set to save to your downloads folder by default. And a lot of people would rather have their documents saved in specific locations. And so if you are downloading, let's say an attachment from your email or something from a website or a photo from a friend, you can then choose where you're going to save it by changing these settings instead of having it go to the downloads folder and wonder what happened to it. First, I'll show you what it looks like when you download something right now. Then I'll show you the settings of how to change it. And then I'll show you what it looks like after that change has been made. First, I'll show you a scenario where I am downloading a picture and the settings are such that it will save to the downloads folder. So we will take this PDF here and I'm going to download this. And it doesn't matter if you need the steps for Google Drive, here they are, but it doesn't really matter where you're doing this from. It's if you're downloading something from anywhere on the internet. When I go to download, you see with Google Chrome, it automatically pulls this up at the bottom. That means that it downloaded to your computer. And when this is here, you can go straight to that PDF. But if that bar goes away now, where did it go? And if I go into my downloads, here you can see where the document downloaded. I'm in my downloads folder on my PC. That's what normally happens. And that's the default setting for most web browsers. So let's see how to change that setting. The download setting lives in the Google Chrome settings. And how you get to that, I'm actually gonna move my picture because it's gonna be over here on the right-hand side. We're gonna to go to these three dots and we're gonna to go to settings, which is near the bottom here. You can see it opens a new tab with our settings for Google Chrome. That's what we're currently looking at. What we'll do here is it's always a good idea to see what settings are here, familiarize yourself with those, but we'll go straight to the downloads if you scroll all the way down and then click on this advanced option here, scroll a little bit more and you will see this download section. It will show you where it's automatically saving downloads. If you don't want to change that, that's fine. If you want it to ask you where to save each file before it downloads it, then you will move the little button to the right. Once it's blue, you'll know that that is set. And with Google Chrome settings, there is no save button. Now, if I go through the same process of downloading this PDF, I am going to choose to download. And now it brings up this box here to ask me where I want to save my document. So I can choose specifically where I would like that to go. In this case, I need it to go on the desktop for right now. So I will save that and we'll minimize this and turn on my desktop icons so that you can see that here is the document that I just saved. For some of you, it may be enough just to know where your downloads are going when you actually save them, and it goes to the downloads folder. If you're not someone who uses a folder structure on your computer, that may be enough for you just to know where they went. If you're someone who has a folder structure on your computer and likes to be really organized with that, then you may wanna go ahead and change the setting. So think about that before you change the setting, uh, because if it will actually be frustrating for you to have to choose where to save it each time, then you don't want to make this change. Have you had a light bulb moment from this training? If so, please let me know in the comments below. You can also put questions down there and I'll get back to you as soon as I can with an answer. You can also give the video a thumbs up or you can share it with someone you think could benefit from the information. And be sure to subscribe by clicking the red button below. Once you do, a bell icon will show up. If you click that, you'll receive notifications when new videos are posted each week. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.